Hey everyone, it is Monique here, the other half of Brand the Boss, and I am super excited to bring you five productivity tips that are gonna be super helpful if you're working from home. And this is gonna be for anyone who is new to working from home, or maybe you've worked from home for quite some time, but you're just not as productive as you would like to be. So uh, I want you to stick around, stay tuned. If this is anything that you like and wanna get more content on in the future, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button or the like button, that would be super appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into the list. So tip number one, you want to create a routine. So what do I mean when I say a routine? A lot of us are transitioning from working in the office, especially during that time that shall not be mentioned. <laughs> um, and we're working from home. We had a routine that we were used to doing when we were going into the office, maybe getting up, taking a shower, maybe working out in the morning, whatever is gonna work for you, you wanna maintain a very similar routine when you're working from home. So for example, if you work out in the mornings when you are going into the office, you wanna maybe do the same thing when you're working from home, just to keep that flow and keep yourself in the rhythm. And that way you're gonna be as productive as you were when you were working in the office, even though you're working from home now. So step number two, or tip number two, is to have a dedicated work from home space. So I have been working from home for about a decade now. And so when I first started, it was a situation where I was using TV trays, I was working at my kitchen table, and although it wasn't ideal, it still worked for me. So you wanna make sure that you have a dedicated space, especially if you're living with other people, you want them to know that that's your space and that's where you're gonna be getting your work done. So whether it is, even if it's in your room, you wanna have, um, don't work in your bed. <laughs> you want to go ahead and have a space that's gonna be completely dedicated to what you're doing for work. So that's tip number two, make sure that you're carving out a space to work from home. Tip number three, follow a schedule. I cannot stress this enough. I just spoke about what a routine is gonna do for your productivity at home, but a schedule and a routine are two different things. So a routine will definitely get you used to working from home, but a schedule is something that is gonna make sure that you're getting your work done in a timely manner. So for instance, maybe you're using Google Calendar. I love Google Calendar, I use it all the time. You wanna schedule in your meetings, you wanna schedule in your breaks, your lunch, you wanna schedule in your focus time, you wanna make your schedule reflect the work that you wanna get done on a regular basis. So make sure that as you start and move into uh, 2022, I can't believe that we're already there, you guys. 2022, that you are scheduling your work in a way that's gonna maximize your productivity. Tip number four is to take breaks. So I just mentioned that sometimes in the schedule you wanna go ahead and put your lunch, you wanna put in breaks, and it may see, count, seem counterintuitive because you're working from home and you're already thinking like, isn't this you know relaxed enough? But you still want to maintain your work environment. So um, a lot of times when we're working in an office, we're gonna take breaks, we're gonna go for walks, we're gonna you know talk to our coworkers, whatever that's gonna look like. But you wanna build that time into your schedule. That way you're not burning out and you're able to focus a little bit more on what you're gonna be doing um, with your work. So make sure that you're taking those breaks. This, maybe it's meditation, maybe it's reading. That you wanna be, your break time should be anywhere from five to 15 minutes. You don't wanna get too relaxed. You don't wanna do like a Netflix and chill type break at home, but you do wanna schedule some time for yourself so that you're not burning out as you're working from home. So tip number five, the last one, it's probably the most important. So you want to make sure that you are not staying glued to Slack or any other chat platforms that you can be constantly interrupted on. One of the biggest productivity time sucks is just being pinged and then you have to be pulled in this direction and that direction. You wanna maintain your focus. So in certain instances, it's okay to set yourself to a way. Um, if you've been working home for working from home from um, enough time, you probably know that you'll see your coworkers, um, you know, set to a way. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're not at their desk. They're just focusing, and you can do the same thing. So you want to make sure that you are setting your availability um, and allowing yourself some time to really focus in on certain quality tasks that you need to get done in a timely manner. So that is tip number five and we are done for the five tips. Again, super easy, super simple, but if you're new to working from home or maybe you're just not getting 
the uh, productivity out of your day that you want to, these tips are going to go a long way towards setting you up for success in 2022. <laughs> uh, so my name is Monique. I'm the other half of Brand the Boss. If you enjoyed this video, you want more of this content, definitely subscribe and see you next time.